Let's get started with the installation and setup. The most recommended distribution is the Anaconda Python 3.5 version. So there are several ways to actually get started with Python. The most common and the easiest one would actually be to, do, to go to python.org and download the required version of Python and then additionally install required packages. So the packages which we discussed earlier, pandas, numpy, these are packages which you would probably need to install on a separate task. Or an easier alternative would be actually to leverage the Anaconda distribution. So Anaconda distribution is actually something from a company called Continuum who have packaged together all the required modules and packages and the tools required for a data science project. So we can actually use the, the most popular one, which is 3.5. So right now in the in, in the market we have the 3.6 version also, but then for stability issues, let's stick around to Python 3.5. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, and comes in 32-bit and 64-bit flavors. So while you're working for a data science project or a machine learning project, you'll actually need to use a couple of IDs and tools. The Spider and ID which comes free of cost along with the Anaconda package. This is something which is analogous to Eclipse for Java developers or R Studio for R developers. Similarly, we also have Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter Notebooks is the notebook kind of web browser interface to a programming language. So for Python, we can have the IPython kernel loaded with Jupyter Notebooks. We'll explore more of them in the next session. So all of this actually comes together with Anaconda's distribution. That is, after you install Anaconda's version of Python, you don't need to install separately Spider, Jupyter, or any other popular packages. Most of what we need actually comes along with Anaconda distribution. So how do we install that? So this is actually a Windows-based system. So I'm using the Windows version, but then the process is fairly the same for all of them. So for Windows, you can actually download the installer from Anaconda's website. You can choose the 32-bit or 64-bit flavor. And then just like you install any other software, you can double click the exe file and install and follow the installation result. For Mac, you have two options. You have the graphical installation process as well as you have the command line process. The graphical process is just as similar to any other software which you install uh, on a Mac. And the command line is actually something very similar to Linux. You can just invoke the shell script file which actually gets downloaded and the remaining is automated. For Linux, again, like similar to the command line version of the Mac, you have to download the installer and then invoke the shell script from the command prompt. I'll just take you to the website of Anaconda and just let, let explore it, help you understand which version to download. So this is Python's official website. So in case if you're not interested in using Anaconda distribution, uh, you can actually use Python's version and uh, download the respective packages and solve them separately. It's a very fair, fair, fair enough process. The only problem over here is, um, specifically for Windows, uh, sometimes it's actually a pain to install all the packages. Uh, you might not find the most compatible version of the Python package on Windows easily. Uh, it sometimes becomes cumbersome. And then installing so many packages actually takes a while. So that's why I recommend Anaconda. But then this process is definitely a valid one. You can actually go towards download. You can find the recent version of Python 3.6.2. By the time you'll be watching this video, probably a newer version might have actually come into production. And we have now Python 2.714. Point 12 was a very popular one, and that was a stable release for a long time. If you go to Anaconda, so this is Anaconda's website, which is from Continuum. You actually have a graphical Windows, Mac, or Linux based installer version. You can actually choose 2.7 or 3.6. I would actually recommend you to use 3.5 because that is compatible, that has compatible packages for most of the things we're using today. So you can actually use the respective version if you want it, the 64-bit version or 32-bit version. But this will actually install 3.5, 3.6. You would actually want to install 3.5.
So for that, you can actually go to this website. It's the archive folder for the Prince Wales website. And over here, they have all the current and all the previous versions of Anaconda distributions. Now, this one, Python 3.6, is actually belonging to Anaconda 4.4. So until 4.2, we had Python 3.5. If you choose to download Anaconda 4.2, if you would get the respective version for Python 3.5. Uh, that's an alternative way. Actually, the most recommended way would have been to install the Python 3.6 version, which is the latest one from Anaconda, and then create an environment within Windows or Linux or Mac environment for 3.5. That's a little long process. In fact, even though it's a recommended one, I'll go with an easy alternative. So if you go to this website, and if you just hit search for 4.2, these sections get highlighted. So if you have a Windows-based system, you can actually take the 64-bit version for Python uh, 4.2 and Anaconda 3. So this one, if you look over here, uh, Anaconda 3, which represents Python 3, version 4.2 for Windows 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit system, you can actually go for the x86 architecture. And a similar version is available for Mac as well as uh, Linux. So for Linux, you can actually just go ahead and choose Anaconda 3 uh, 86 if you have a 32 bit version or Anaconda 3 4.2 8664 because it's the 64 bit equivalent for Linux. And similarly for Mac, Mac will have two versions since you have the graphical version as well as the command line version. So if you have a 64-bit Mac machine, you can actually go ahead with uh, Anaconda 3 Mac. Let me just check here. So this is the Anaconda Python 3 4.2 version for Mac OS 64-bit, which is the command line based installer. And you'll have a similar one for the graphical one. And that would be yeah, right here, Anaconda 3 4.2 Mac OS X. 64 bit version. You can just play around. It's around 350 to 450 MB file, depending on the platform and the kind of uh, flavor you choose for them. So, since this is a 64 bit Windows system and I'm, I wanted to install Python version 3.5, I would choose um, this one Anaconda 3 4.2 Windows 64. So, I have it already installed. Uh, once you download it, it's a very straightforward process. I've given you a basic set of instructions over here, but then this is a fairly straightforward task to get started with.